President Obama, quit lying. You know darn well that if August 2nd comes and goes, there's plenty of money to pay off our debt and cover our, all of our Social Security obligations. And you also know that you and only you have the discretion to make those payments. What's next, sir? Are you going to try and scare students and families and say that unless we raise the debt limit, you won't be able to make student loan payments? How about military families? Time to scare them and claim we won't have the money to pay their benefits? I know you have a willing media that protects everything you say and do, but have you no shame, sir? In three short years, you've bankrupted this country and destroyed job creation. You're either in over your head, you don't understand what makes this country great, or you're hell-bent in turning us into some European big government wasteland. You've spent money like a drunken sailor for three years, and now you tell us it's time to get serious about spending? No matter your motivation, the American people have woken up, and they're better and smarter than you think they are. They sent people like me to Congress in January to stop what you're doing. We will not raise your debt ceiling unless we pass a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution. You see, President Obama, the American people don't trust politicians, yourself included. Unless we force politicians to balance their books every year, they won't. The only way to force them to do this is through a constitutional amendment. Quit playing politics with the debt ceiling vote and quit lying to the American people. Show some leadership for once. The American people understand and support the balanced budget amendment. Virtually all Republicans do. You wanna be useful and lead for a change? Go find 50 Democrats in the House and 13 in the Senate to support the balanced budget amendment. I don't have your bully pulpit, but I can speak into a camera. You don't like ultimatums? Tough, here's my ultimatum. I won't place one more dollar of debt upon the backs of my kids and grandkids unless we structurally reform the way this town spends money. Come on, President Obama, quit scaring the American people and quit talking about band-aids and peas. Lead for a change. Get members of your own party to support a balanced budget amendment.